Hall, your host, my husband Wayne, my co-host tonight. We're having, I'm telling you, we're talking about the fair tonight, and, but we're having church. We are. That's the main <laughs> I'm thing. I'm loving every bit of it. Thank God for all the praise reports too that's coming in tonight. We just rejoice with you. We're going to be praying over all these requests in a little while, but we're going to go back to some more good singing. Uh, Kirsten and Bailey are going to do a song now called The Well. Make them welcome. I have what you need, but you keep on searching. I've done all the work, but you keep on working. When you're running on empty and you can't find the remedy, just come to the well. can spend your whole life chasing what's missing, but that empty inside, it just ain't gonna listen, when nothing can satisfy, and the world leaves you high and dry, just come to the well, it's all who thirst for What a way to start this last half hour. Oh. And yes, we're already in the last half hour of tonight's service. If you haven't gotten through on the phones, just hold on or call in your request. Yeah. We want to take time and pray over them. And Gwen and I will be doing that here in just a few minutes. Yes. Uh, some more of the requests that have come in I'd like to share. Uh, here's one. Uh, 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 pray for a nephew's wife has autoimmune disease uh, and is in rough shape right now in the hospital needing a touch from the Lord and we just right now lift that person up in Jesus name Father that their immune system comes back in line 
In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, here's one with family problems, uh, needing God to intervene there. Uh, Reba's having problems, uh, diabetes. Uh, please pray for uh, husband. Uh, Bob's having weakness in his legs for him not to become discouraged. Well, we lift him up right now. Yes. Also, here's one, Gwen. Uh, five unspoken requests. But you know the good thing about it is is that God knows each and every one of these requests. He knows their hurt. He knows their pain. But he knows some that's going through times of depression. I thought about those today at being 9-11. Some that are hurting over that today. So let's let's remember those tonight as that's well. That's right. You know, even after all those years, you know, it still hurts the pain and yes, all the does. loss. Yes, it and does. And all is still there. But I thank God that we have Him as a comforter that can be there for us and provide in every situation. Isn't that good to know? It's so good to know that whatever you're going through yes. tonight is God is with you. And there's one thing about it. He'll give you strength yes. and help you get through things in life. I don't want to face things in life, Gwen, without Him. I know, that's right. You know, that'd be most miserable. I, I really don't know what, what people do without the Lord. I know. Because I, I just depend on Him for everything. In the good times, in the difficult times, in times when I don't understand, you know, staying in so much with COVID, just out to the drugstore or to the grocery store and right back in. We've been doing this since March. And, you That's know, right. staying in, it's, it's, sometimes it can kind of get... Well, it has an emotional effect. Yeah, it and, has to. It would have and to. And, and I'm not seeing anything that you all haven't done. You've all done the same thing except for those now that are... Able, some of you are able to go to work, but it's been one of the most difficult times that I can remember. I don't know about you, but has it, it not been? It is. It's, it's been so, one that's so different than others. And we and we feel we feel what you're feeling. We we know, and it's you know I miss the hugs from our grandkids and being able to get out and go with them and do things with them. You know, we have 20 grandkids and and three great grandkids, and I, I miss them. Don't you? It is, and you know, when you're not able to be with family and, right. and friends, like I say, there's an emotional difference there. I remember when Wade was in the hospital and, and the, uh, Dax and Hudson came by and they sit out in the hallway, we live in a condo, and they give him these hugs just like this, and I know that they wanted to hug your neck so bad. Oh, that was so sweet, They made up know. a basket full of all kind of goodies for Wade. And, it was and I just, enjoyed every bit of it. Yep. I helped him with it, but we enjoyed it, and it was so thoughtful of them to do something like that's that. That's right. It was. And, it you was. know, that's one thing as things uh, are the way they are right now. It doesn't hurt to pick up a phone and call someone that's and right. say, hey, I'm praying for you. I'm thinking yeah. of you, you know, and just let people know that uh, uh, that you are thinking of them. That means a lot. Because there's a lot of people where it's just one person, and they're living by themselves, you that's know? That's right. And I've tried to do that this past few weeks, just, just check mm -hmm. on people. That's Say, it. hey, we're thinking about you. If you need anything, you know, uh, that means everything. It's just a conversation or having a prayer with somebody. You know who I used to pray with all the time on the phone? My we, mother. We would have church. We would have church. Y'all would pray for an hour or two. We would pray for an hour or two, and it didn't seem like 15 minutes. But I'm telling you, when we begin to pray, whew, you could feel the presence of the Lord. I'll tell you one thing. Mm. It's a good thing it wasn't the old party line deal. Y'all would have that phone Why, tied up half a day. They'd be people getting saved everywhere. Everywhere. And healed. <laughs> I know. We had church. I mean, to uh. tell you, there's nothing like, can I just say this tonight? There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. That's right. Whew. It's precious. It's precious. We're going back now to some good singing. Have you enjoyed their singing tonight? Guess what? I'm going to get around the piano with them here in just a few minutes. They're going to sing with me. Isn't that great? Kirsten and Bailey are going to sing a song now, Free to Be Me. Looking for a dream, a war's already waged for my destiny. But you've already won the battle, and you've got great plans for me. Though I can't always see, cause I got a cup. 
couple dips in my fender, got a couple rips in my jeans. Try to fit the pieces together, but perfection is my enemy. And on my own, I'm so clumsy, but on your shoulders, I can see. I'm free to be me. When I was just a girl, I thought I had it figured out. See, my life would turn out right, and I'd make it here somehow. But things don't always come that easy, and sometimes I A couple dents in my fender, got a couple rips in my jeans. Try to fit the pieces together, but perfection is my enemy. And on my own, I'm so clumsy, but on your shoulders, I can see I'm free to be me, and you're free to be. Sometimes I believe that I can't do anything. I got nothing good to bring. But you look at my heart and you tell me that I've got all you seek. And it's easy to believe. Even though I got a couple dents in my fender. Got a couple roots in my jeans Try to fit the pieces together But perfection is my enemy And on my own I'm so clumsy But on your shoulders I can see I got a couple dents in my fender Got a couple roots in my jeans Try to fit the pieces together But perfection is my enemy Shoulders I can see I'm free to be me And you're free to be you Amen. I know you're enjoying this singing tonight. <laughs> And if you are, call in and say so. Amen. Uh, some more of the requests that have come in. I'll read a couple of them here. Uh, here's one uh, uh, requesting a prayer for restoration in their marriage. Uh, there's a couple here. Uh, different ones are going through bouts of cancer, needing a touch from the Lord. Jesus name. And uh, here's one. Judy is believing for a home, for a house. We agree with you on that, uh, Judy. You got a praise report? Oh, I got some praise reports. Oh, my goodness. The people calling in, enjoying the program tonight. Minnie's called in for that. A husband, that she's called in. He's cancer-free. Well, let's give God Amen. praise over that tonight in Jesus' name. Here's Bill from the state of Washington. Two, three days ago, he had open-heart surgery, and uh, they didn't think he was going to make it. His temperature now has come down, and the surgery is doing good, and he just wants to give God the praise. How Amen. about that? That's great. Isn't that awesome? You know, that's one thing, <laughs> when we should always do. Yes. When God does something for us, take time to tell people about mm -hmm. it. Take time to praise Him for it. You know what? We ought to shout it to the rooftops. I'm telling you. Here's Eugene. He's called, and he had two back surgeries, Wade infection in the blood and he couldn't walk. He's been calling here for prayer. He's doing much better. That infection's gone and he just wants to give God praise for that tonight. Okay. And so we just praise the Lord with you tonight. And behind Eugene. that praise report, I want to read this uh, prayer request. Mm -hmm. uh, here's uh, Patsy who has a fracture in her back. Well, Patsy, what God did for him Eugene. in this praise right. report, he can do for you in Jesus' name. I believe that. Amen. Yes, that's for sure. Amen. Thank you, Lord I'll Jesus. I'll tell you. Uh, the others are just, they're enjoying the program. Here's someone called tonight said they're enjoying the singing. They're enjoying these young people singing. So we just...
Give God all the praise, all the praise. The Pethels were supposed to be here with us tonight. And I was thinking about Rebecca. She's the same age as our granddaughter, Mackenzie. And so she started singing at the fair when she was just five and she's 19. And they couldn't be here tonight. I wish they could have. So I went ahead because of the situation. Mm -hmm. Some of them have been sick. And we pulled a, a song tonight from where they sang. I think they sang this even at the fair. Good, good father. The Pethos, Rebecca and Macy. This is good. Oh, yes. Rebecca, and I'm, she sang that in the competition. I think she wrote that. And we're going to do another song yes. with them in just a few minutes. But you know, there's been Gwen, a lot of requests. A lot of requests. But you know, one thing I want to mention, uh, Gwen, is that what you've seen tonight is just a sample of all the talent, just a song that we've seen over the years at the fair. Uh, really, you break it down, we would have at the fair when you had the junior, uh, the youth, junior, and adult, and they would be solo in groups. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you would have 30 different performances going on at the fair. That's a lot of singers. And what we've seen tonight is just a sample of some of the good talent. And I always love seeing people use the talent that God gave them for the glory of God. Me too. 
Me too. We'll take Mountain Faith. We showed some of their footage last week. That's right. Now they travel all over the nation. Megan Woods, she started singing there her first time there. She was 11. Yes, yes. She's 19, so mm -hmm. God's open door. Now she lives in Nashville, so God's just so, so good, so good. We've had a great opportunity to meet so many young people in all the years we've been going, and we just thank you all so much for coming tonight. We're going back to the Pethels now. They're going to do another song. I'm, Lord, I'm thankful. Yes, we have so much to be thankful for. I'll tell you, one, aren't you glad to know him? That's one thing to be thankful for. Uh, someone called in, is the program live? Yes, we're very much live tonight. Amen. And I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I got about three more praise reports. There have been so many of them come in tonight. We appreciate your calls. A uh, lady is doing better with her kidneys. Uh, she called in for prayer and praising God for that. Uh, here's someone who called in having a stroke. Is doing very well. Praising God that everything is fine there. Brandon's praising God. He had lost his job during the COVID situation here. and But now it's been restored. He's thanking God for that. And real quickly, I'll take just a moment and say, Father, we want to thank you, Lord for your presence, Father, that we have the privilege of coming before the throne of love, of mercy, and grace. And Father, all these requests that I hold in my hand right now, Father, I thank you that you're more than able to provide in every situation, regardless of whether it's sickness. Father, you're able to take care of that. 
You're the healer, Lord, that we can come to. Jehovah Rapha. Lord, I thank you're the God of restoration for troubled marriages and homes, Lord. And Father, I just thank you, Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. And Lord, we just give you the praise and the glory, Father, for what you're doing in behalf of each one of these requests. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Now let's go to Gwen. Close off something that's been just so awesome tonight. Kirsten Bailey, it's just been awesome having you here. I've already asked them to come back at Christmas. They said they would. <laughs> so I thought a good way to close the program tonight would just do some old songs that you know in the old Red Book hymnal. So we're going to do a song. Will you sing along with us tonight? Amen. Yes. We can all help stop the spread of germs and prevent the spread of respiratory viruses like COVID-19 and the flu. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. Avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact with other people. Stay home and away from others while you're sick. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. And finally, clean frequently touched objects and surfaces. For more information, visit scdheck.gov COVID-19. Hello, I'm Troy Burns. This is my beautiful wife, Tammy. Oh, I like that. And we're the Troy Burns family, and we host Down Home Gospel every Saturday night at 9 o'clock right here on WGGS Channel 16. And we have us a time, don't we, baby? We do. We play the best Southern gospel music in the whole world. And we want you to be with us every Saturday night at 8 o'clock. 9. 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9. 